What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? This is Rod Steele with another Transformers review. Now, did you know the average size of a male penis is 6 inches long? While the average size depth of a female's vagina is 8 inches deep. But anyway, on to the review. I'm going to be reviewing these two guys. Now these are the Transformers Universe Legends class. They're small, very easy to transform. Uh, there's not much to say about them. Uh, they're pretty much the size of a mini bot, and but they are cool. And uh, I'm going to do uh, onslaught first. And uh, if you notice, he does he does resemble a lot of like uh, this uh, the brawl or the uh, the swindle that uh, was part of Bruticus, which onslaught was the main piece of on uh, Bruticus. Now Onslaught uh, was locked away, was basically imprisoned on Cybertron, and when Starscream wanted to overthrow Megatron uh, one of his millions of times, he went to Cybertron and broke out the, uh, the, the sparks uh, for, uh, to get uh, to put inside uh, old rusty military vehicles that he found on some island. And that's where you get the onslaughts and the swindles and the blast off and the vortex. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite characters from the line. I used to love the onslaught. He uh, he was a cool character. How can you not like uh, basically <clears throat> a convict, a criminal? I mean, think about it. If this guy was locked away, if Megatron locked him away, he must have been a bad motherfucker. So, he's one of my favorite characters. And like I said, he's very reminiscent to one of the G1 uh, Brawl or Swindle. Well, as I say, he's very easy to, to uh, transform. He, uh, I guess, looks like his part, uh, what I guess they're making the universe, Onslaught's going to be like a big SWAT armored vehicle. So he does have SWAT written on him. Uh, he does transform into some kind of like SWAT military vehicle. But he's all gray, he's got black, he's got a nice Decepticon symbol down on his leg. He's got the, the Decepticon purple. His head's very small. I mean, there's nothing really to him. Uh, he's got this huge cannon which does move back and forth. I'm not sure why. Uh, but it does move around. It's not really like it has any other purpose but besides to go on his head. Uh, besides that, that's pretty much it. That's it. That's it for this figure. There's nothing more to say about him. Uh, to transform him. And that's it. That is his vehicle mode, which isn't too bad looking. I actually uh, display him like this on the shelf. And because it's, it's not that bad. I mean, besides the fact that there's this giant gaping hole here, and there's nothing here, and that's all you can see is his head. It's really not that bad. But so when it's display, displayed, it doesn't look bad. It, uh, these wheels are just uh, bogus wheels. They're not real. It's got little tiny wheels underneath them. So I guess he does roll. Not really, but he does. So it's all not that bad. I think these things are like $4.99. Uh, these, are this are probably, these two that I got here uh, will probably be my last ones that I get. Uh, they're all right, I guess. I'm just not into these little small transformers because all they do is take a little bit of space up on a shelf and there's really nothing to them. Uh, I mean, there's not like they're highly detailed or anything, but they're actually kind of cool for uh, these little mini bots. You can see how they've come a long way since uh, the bumblebees and uh, the gears and, you know what I mean, they're a lot better uh, detailed and actually a better transformation than there was back in the day. So they are cool. Uh, this is Red Alert here. Red Alert is another G1 character. Uh, his character, he was more of like, I guess he was, I guess you could say he was kind of paranoid. He kind of gave, uh, uh, he kind of gave away false uh, emergencies, you know. So people didn't really believe him and trust him. Uh, one of his good friends that he used to hang with uh, in the G1 series was Inferno, which was a fire truck. Now, uh, Red Alert is his normal colors, his uh, police vehicle or fire police vehicle. Uh, I believe the, the original one was like a Lamborghini Countach. 
But this, I'm not sure what the hell kind of car this is. But he's all red and white with a little bit of black. His face just painted red. He's got a little nice little Autobot symbol on his chest. Uh, he's pretty cool. I mean, like, you know, transform him to show you his, his uh, vehicle mode. Of course, I can never get one fucking thing down. Because it makes me look like an idiot on camera. You fucking piece of shit. Get the fuck in there. You fucking cocksucker. There we go. Just proves I'm an idiot because I couldn't even get this thing transformed back into car mode. But anyway, here's his car mode. This one actually does have wheels. It's, it's not bad, like I said. For what they are. You know, for, uh, for five bucks, I mean... I can think of a lot better things to do with five dollars and probably to pick up these. Like I said, uh, I was more of a, in a trance when I went to when I picked all these up, and I was willing to spend money, so of course I had to have these two. But uh, like I said, these are probably be the last two I buy. If you like smaller mini bot type uh, transformers, these are definitely these are definitely worth it. I guess uh, they're pretty true to G1 besides this guy. But uh, this this guy is pretty close to how he was in, in Generation One. Uh, what more can I say about him? I mean, uh, I watched the review. I'd rather spend the four ninety nine, the five dollars on these than I seen a review that someone had all of the uh, animated series McDonald's fucking Happy Meal figures. Now, say these things are those things are like almost three dollars a piece, and he had like fucking six of them. To me, that's a fucking waste of money because it's a McDonald's toy. Those things are fucking made for like a three-year-old. They're fucking dumb. These things are a little bit nicer. So don't go spend your fucking money on uh, McDonald's animated fucking toys. Pick these up if you like these, you know, stupid small little toys. There's no reason to go out and buy fucking retarded shit. I mean, if you click McDonald's toys, well then I guess that's your fucking, that's your thing. But don't go buy the animated fucking, those McDonald's toys. Pick up these things. They're much nicer, they look better, they have better transformations, and plus they're classic G1 characters. So you can't go wrong with them. But anyway, that's all I really have to say about these two guys. Uh, this has been Rod Steele with the Transformers Review. Adios, muchachos. Come on, bring it back.